The Big Bang Theory was one of the most popular shows on television. As this sitcom was about science nerds who are into particle physics, astrophysics, etc., it is necessary for the show to use telescopes in some of its scenes. The four main characters in the show are nerds, and a nerd without a telescope doesn't sound good. So all four main characters in the show have a telescope. While watching the show, many of you might have wondered, which telescope are they using in that scene? Or where can I buy such telescopes? Or what objects can I see with that telescope? So in this video, we will see the details of all the telescopes used in the Big Bang Theory throughout the series. Sheldon and Leonard's Telescope Sheldon and Leonard live together in the same apartment, and you can see their telescope in the background in all the living room scenes. The telescope Sheldon and Leonard have is the Celestron Nexstar 102 SLT. This is a refractor type telescope has an aperture of 102 millimeters and a focal length of 660 millimeters and a focal ratio of 6.5. The total weight of this telescope is 16 pounds or around seven kilograms. The refractor telescope gives clear and crisp images and doesn't suffer from chromatic aberrations. With this telescope, you can see the moon, Mars and Venus and their phases. You can see all the details of this telescope series in this video. In some episodes, you can also see the different telescopes in Leonard and Sheldon's living room. This one is also a refractor type telescope. The telescope in this scene looks like a MAIDS 70 millimeter alt azimuth mount refractor telescope. This is also a beginner telescope. These small aperture beginner telescopes are usually good for viewing moons and bird watching. They are primarily made for extreme beginners or kids. Howard's telescope. Howard is an engineer and later he becomes an astronaut as well. In many scenes, you can also see the telescope by the left window in Howard's bedroom. The telescope is a small refractor type telescope. The telescope also looks like a beginner telescope. It probably has an aperture of around 70 to 90 millimeters. You can find similar beginner telescopes from many telescope manufacturers. These beginner telescopes are the value for money. They're good for getting started with astronomy on a very small budget. Raj's telescope. Raj has portrayed the character of an astrophysicist, so the telescope is a part of his character. In many scenes, you can see the two telescopes are kept in Raj's living room. The first telescope Raj owns is a refractor telescope. This refractor telescope looks more like a beginner telescope with an alt azimuth mount. It probably has an aperture of 70 to 90 millimeters. Lots of companies make these beginner telescopes. As mentioned earlier, you can find many telescopes like these in a very affordable price range. The second orange telescope owned by Raj is the Celestron Nexstar 8SE. You can see this telescope in many of the apartment scenes of Raj. In one episode, they also showed him using this telescope. With the help of the Nexstar 8SE, Raj shows Lucy the International Space Station passing overhead near Venus. The next star 8SE is one of the most popular telescopes from Celestron and is very beginner friendly. The telescope is made for beginners to advanced levels of astronomers. The aperture of this telescope is about eight inches and the focal length is 20, 32 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 10. The total weight of this telescope is 24 pounds or around 11 kilograms. With this telescope, you can see the planets in our solar system. The telescope is also good for deep space observation, and you can see the Orion Nebula, star clusters, Andromeda Galaxy with this telescope. As this is a computerized telescope, you can also do the moon and planetary astrophotography with this telescope. For long exposure astrophotography with this telescope, you need to mount this telescope in an equatorial mount. If you don't know the different types of mounts, then make sure you watch this video. The Nexstar 8SE telescope is fast star compatible. You can remove the secondary mirror of this telescope to reduce the focal length. We have made a detailed video about this telescope and you can watch it here. You can see a different telescope in other scenes of Raj's apartment. This telescope does look like a Celestron's Evolution Series telescope, but this telescope has a double fork mount and all the Evolution Series telescopes have a single fork mount. Actually, this telescope is the Celestron Ultima 2000 8-inch model. This telescope is not produced by Celestron anymore. 
It was first released in 1996. It was the first telescope that ran on AA batteries. It has an aperture of 8 inches and a focal length of 20-32 millimeters and a focal ratio of 10. The weight of this telescope was around 39 pounds. As this was the first telescope that ran on AA batteries, it allowed people to take this telescope to remote locations for their stargazing sessions. Celestron also announced that they would make the 11-inch version of this telescope, but they didn't. In 2009, when Celestron introduced Edge HD technology, they discontinued the Ultima 2000 telescopes. In the Big Bang Theory, you will find this telescope in Raj's apartment in the initial third and fourth season. The first four seasons of Big Bang Theory were aired in the period of 2007 to 2010. In another scene, where the guys plan a stargazing night to watch the planet Mercury at the greatest height of its elongation, you can see in this scene they are using a big telescope. The telescope they used in this scene is the Celestron CPC-800 GPS XLT computerized telescope. Celestron also tweeted about this scene when this episode was aired. This telescope was not seen in any of the other scenes of Raj's apartment, but in the series, this telescope also belongs to Raj. Because in this scene, Penny specifically asked Raj, why did he bring his telescope and not use Leonard's telescope? Hey, why'd you lug your telescope all the way over here? Leonard has one in our apartment. Yeah, I'm gonna use Leonard's. Might as well hold my hand up like this and squint. <laughs> this is a double fork mount telescope. Fork mount is a different type of mount, which is mostly used for big telescopes, which are heavy. The CPC GPS XLT computerized telescope comes in three different aperture sizes. They have an 8 inch aperture, a 9.25 inch aperture, and the biggest 11 inch aperture size in this telescope. The telescope in the scene has an aperture of 8 inches, and it has a focal length of 20-32 millimeters. The focal ratio of this telescope is 10. The telescope has a built-in database of 40,000 celestial objects. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 480 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 29 times. The total weight of this telescope assembly is 61 pounds, around 28 kilograms. The telescope has an inbuilt GPS. When you turn on the telescope, it will locate the longitude and latitude of your observing location without any input in less than a few minutes. The telescope is advanced and an all-arounder telescope. You can do observation as well as astrophotography with this telescope. With Celestron CPC-800 GPS XLT, you can see planets in our solar system and also many deep space objects such as galaxies, nebula, and star clusters, etc. If you're very serious about astronomy, then this telescope is for you. In one episode, where the guys are on the apartment's rooftop and doing the lunar ranging experiment, in this scene, the telescope into which Raj is watching The Good Wife on someone's TV is Sheldon and Leonard Celestron Nexstar 102 SLT telescope. This is the same telescope that Penny used to watch the entire episode of The Bachelors on the TV across the street. Squint. I don't know, it seemed pretty good. You know, once when the cable went out, I watched an entire episode of The Bachelor on a TV across the street. This one's more of a professional model. The other telescope you can see in the scene is Raj's telescope mentioned before. It is Celestron CPC 800 GPS XLT model. So overall, in the Big Bang Theory, Leonard and Sheldon own two telescopes but we never saw their two telescopes together in one scene. Howard owns a small beginner refractor telescope, and being the astrophysicist, Raj owns four telescopes, out of which three are the most modern and professional telescopes. These are all the telescopes you can see in the entire series of the Big Bang Theory. The links to all the telescopes mentioned in this video are in the description. If you liked this video, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.